Welcome to episode 135 of Crash Dummies Podcast. Am I right on that? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm right. Yeah, 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 135. Uh, 135. It's, you got Key to my right. You yeah, got Rudy. Mike to my left. You got uh, Numero Uno, Patricio in the middle here. That sounds so freaky. It's already, so freaky. Bro. Numero uno, <laughs> numero yeah, no, uno, in the middle. Patricio. Then you looked at yourself up boy, and down. That boy gave himself a Latin name and shit <laughs> for no reason. Latin. <laughs> Just spicy That's a for Spain no reason. Name. Spain. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I see how we started this show. Anyway, make sure y'all subscribe to the Sometimes Patreon. I just like, just want to see y'all energy, so I know where to take the show. I got you. <laughs> make sure y'all uh, subscribe to the Patreon. Um, we just dropped an episode on there on Monday. Um, merch coming soon. Um, what else announcements we got? Uh, We're gonna play key song at the end of the pod. I Hero. just dropped hood glitch again. Hood glitch is out. You should probably just play that too because you played it on the Patreon. So yeah, you play yeah. at the end as well. Um, what else we got? What's in the news? What's 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 happening? All right, all right. So I, I want to do something, okay? So again, when we talk about zodiac signs, I was looking at two dudes that had the same zodiac sign, right? Mm-hmm. And the the similarity that they have is like they're both <laughs> arguably the greatest to ever do their sport, okay? And they're both billionaires, okay? So the zodiac sign is Capricorn. Mm-hmm. And there was this dude just like, these two dudes are billionaires, and they both top of their sport. That's how Capricorns do. <laughs> what? That's what he said. Yeah. And you want to know the two people? Who? Tiger Woods and LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> like, these niggas couldn't be more different. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like a tiger woman is a bunny hopper. <laughs> Which is okay. Yeah. Which is okay. But LeBron, mm. you know what I mean? Those mm. are two different. Like yeah. he he loves uh dating and going to different women and mm-hmm. cheating on his wife with like a hundred different remember he had all them burner phones isn't that crazy shit? isn't that crazy that Tiger Woods did they he was acted, losing endorsements because like, he cheated on his wife he like he was killing people <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's not but that's still not worse than Michael Phelps losing endorsements over hitting that bong though that's what he did that's what he left uh, lost endorsements for well to yeah. be like wasn't we still like on the iffy side they used to treat we like crack though. yeah, yeah. They used to be like, you're high right now? Mm-hmm. But now it's like, you see people that own businesses like, yeah, I'm going home and getting high. Yeah. Like the last job I worked at, the CEO used to always talk about like weed and stuff yeah. like that. Real I understand loosely. it in, in sports for like, you don't want to be under any influence when you're playing professional sport. That's not Some true. Some people do. I mean, you don't. It you lowers should. anxiety. Percy yeah, but Harvin played his whole career high. Yeah, but I'm just. I'm not saying it's a disadvantage. I'm just saying, like for for instance, like UFC fighters or boxers, like there's drug tests for weed, but you basically would have to like smoke the weed before you get into the case for it to be detect, detected, right? But if I'm high, it sometimes you can be like an advantage for me, where it's like I'm more susceptible to punches, or like I'm more in the, like everybody has to be on even playing field. Like you can't take any supplements or anything, like pre workout, nothing. I feel like when Go I'm high, there. I got an advantage. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It can get some people an advantage. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It definitely does because you're I think what it does for me, I wish part of me wish I would have smoked more in college. <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> like, I wish I would have tried smoking before a game. I never tried that. I sparred high before. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I spar high all mm-hmm. I box high all the mm-hmm. time. I feel like you Muhammad Ali for real. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Until you but, go against a fucking yeah, yeah. attack. Like, <laughs> That's the third jab in a row. <laughs> and then the motherfuckers start hurting me. I cannot dodge that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you start glitching and shit. Why is a gun in my hand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just shot this nigga like, bro, what the fuck is going on? Wouldn't that be scary though? What? I know we moving subjects quick as hell. Quick as hell. We didn't even finish the we, we didn't even finish the Zodiac one. <laughs> but anyways, should we finish the Zodiac? It really don't matter. The Zodiac one. But I, them dudes, you know, some people when they get drunk, they like glitch to moments in their life, like through that night. Yeah. Like when I'm drunk, there might be like small <laughs> details I forget, but I've been blackout drunk and remember exactly what I did. Mm-hmm. I've never been like drunk to the point I would be like, wait, I did that. I hate like yeah. I I would hate for that to happen to me because that happens to like a lot of people where they just like get blackout and they actually forget what happened, bro. Mm-hmm. You know somebody like there's somebody that's in prison right now that don't even remember what they did. Like they end up killing somebody or something, and they don't remember like how they even got there. 
Yeah, kind of like blacked out a little right, bit. Right, they see it on camera or some shit for the first time. Be like, damn, I blacked out. I mm-hmm. knocked that nigga out like that. What are you going to say, Keith? What's the point of drinking till you blacked out anyway? That shit is lame. You think so? I don't get it. I just, I don't I've don't. i never been blacked that. out drunk before. Me either. I to don't the point where you don't remember anything. Yeah, you never. I've never not. I've never got drunk enough not to remember what I've happened. Been drunk last night. to the point where I'm like, "Fuck, I'm yeah, fucked up." Like I need an Uber type of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm fucked up, <laughs> but never to the point because I think these people they get to the point where they fucked up and mm. then they go another level. Like, yeah. how you how you get there? Like, yeah, when I'm when I'm drunk, nigga, I don't even want water at that <laughs> point. Like, I don't want no liquid. Uh-huh. Period. Like, what the fuck going I'll on? I be laying on the floor when I'm drunk. You do? Yeah. It, for some like reason, walrus? when you drunk. Oh wait, what? What's going on with you, brother? I'm just saying, you know how like walrus be on like their stomach and stuff like that, and, like halfway. What you said when you're drunk, though. I was just so saying, what, like, what kind of compare walruses drink? No, I'm just saying, like when you're drunk, you might do something a little so more that was wild. A fat joke, see you. No, it wasn't a fat joke. Walrus <laughs> is just <laughs> walrus are big animals in general. He said, Mike got a seal face. It's crazy. <laughs> 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 that nigga sneaky, bro. Oh, you said seal face? Yeah, yeah I didn't even hear seal. it. He snuck it in there. Damn, that's, that's what, what he do. He sneak a joke in there, and then still make you feel bad about saying the comment. Like, damn, that's what we own, seal. Yeah. And then he like, that's what you own. And you still trying to apologize? Yeah. Like, no, 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 it's not like that. <laughs> and then he cook you again. And now he up two one. <laughs> Look uh, how you even the score. I was about to say, um, isn't it kind of crazy how we don't like how we didn't know shit about our teachers back then? Like right now, for kids these days, right? They know they can find their teachers on Instagram, right? All these social medias and shit like that. When we were kids. I did not know what the fuck Miss Lopez did when she got home or what her, her hobbies were or nothing. She or, was a teacher. Yeah. Or like, yeah, if she had a, you were, you were shocked to see your teacher's husband. Yeah. Or like, to see him pregnant. Yeah, or yeah. pregnant. You'd be like, damn, you all here doing that. Yeah, you fucking. <laughs> yeah. Hard ass tests. Hard ass tests. You, <laughs> ass tests and you fucking. <laughs> so you happy and you still come here. Yeah. <laughs> you see them with their family and shit. They laughing and shit. Yeah. Like, she don't be doing that in class. Exactly. <laughs> she be trying to hold. The us. meanest teacher you see hugging her kid and shit like, what? 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 Ear to ear. <laughs> oh, she just racist. Yeah. Oh, it's like, I got you. Our teachers are so mis- like such mystery to us when we were kids. There's a uh, there's like this Facebook um, Facebook status that this dude made, and he was like, um, "I used to hate," and he tagged the lady. It was like Ashley Tillman or something mm-hmm. like that. He's like, "I used to hate Ashley Tillman's class. She used to tell me I wasn't gonna be nothing. Now nah, I probably make more money than her." And then. Everybody was commenting, LOL, LOL. And she commented. Oh, I saw that. I saw that, yeah. And then she was like, something like, it's not my fault. She, she was yeah. like, no, she was like, I'm surprised you. Yeah. She was like, I'm surprised I can understand this status. It's the first full sentence I've ever seen yeah. you write. <laughs> yeah. Killed that nigga, bro. Killed it. Oh. That's why you said Ashley Tillman, because I was thinking about the Disney star. I was like, where are we going with this? Ashley Tisdale? Tisdale, yeah, Tisdale. You never know anybody named. That was bro. close, though. That wasn't that, that, wasn't that far no, off. That's not bad, but you just never. I've never heard you be like, bam, bam, unless it's like some foreign star. Who Ashley Tisdale. Then you'd be like, what about my Ashley dad? Tisdale was in Sweet Life and Zach and Cody, I yeah, believe. Yeah, yeah. Was that the Asian lady? No, that's, uh, uh, just, uh, what the fuck is her name? Last name was Song. Yeah, She, yeah. she dates uh, um, the dude from Home Alone, Macaulay right? Macaulay McCulkin. Well, they married. Oh yeah, like married married? Yeah, yeah. I be getting her, Brenda Song, and like um, <laughs> Jenny May, uh, Jeezy's. Uh, just tell her you just you just <laughs> telling everybody you racist. No, how? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said that shit. Oh <laughs> man, I seen um somebody invited me to a kickback yesterday. I'm never going to anybody's house party, but go ahead. Yeah, somebody invited me to a kickback. I ain't go. Because it was free to get in, but they said it was $50 to leave. <laughs> what? Yeah, what that mean? <laughs> so they keeping niggas... <laughs> they keeping niggas in the crib. <laughs> it's $50 to leave, that bitch. <laughs> you come have fun all you want. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, come in that bitch for $40, and nigga, I never planned on going home, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, crazy. I saw, actually, wrong, nigga, I, sleep in this I saw that I saw that <laughs> meme on the internet, too. I forgot somebody said had a comment on that. This shit was funny as fuck. My CT acting up now. Okay, okay. Uh, moving on to DJ Academics. Oh yeah, that situation. Um, DJ Academics did like an emergency live stream from like his different setup that he normally uses, and basically was saying that 
the girl he was with was trying to expose him, so he's going to expose himself before she gets this, like, to prove that he has nothing to hide. Um, so basically, he had, he was out drinking with two of his friends and stuff like that, and then I guess he uh, DM'd this girl to come to his place, yada, yada, yada. He Ubers her to her place after he gets back, and he's already, like, passed out on his bed and stuff like that. This nigga said he wakes up at 4 o'clock, and his homies uh, are leaving, and then sees on his uh, security camera that the girl that he invited over was having uh, sex with his two friends. Mm. But then she kind of turned around and was saying that it might have been some essay stuff and stuff like that. And then basically DJ Academics is, has like a pretty crazy girlfriend. I don't know what he did to make her crazy. So I don't like calling people crazy. Wait, that's his girlfriend? No, no, no. This is this is another person now. Oh. This part is still the part of the story why he even came out and was saying it because his girl who like – the cops get called all the time to his house, stole $500,000 in cash from him. 500 k $500,000 in cash Why from him. Why does he still live there, And idiot? he still, and still like, would go back uh, and get with her and shit like that and, like, invite her back. She got some great He, he literally here. called herself a simp. Yeah, basically. He's like, y'all gonna it, call me a simp for this. D- DJ Academics had this little mantra going on for a while, be like, uh, hard on thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of like in a in a situation where... Yeah, the thing, the thing is about, like, I'm not, I'm not saying that's terrible when people get money, but like if you don't if you don't really understand women before you get money, you or understand yourself or that confidence in yourself, if the money is the thing that gives you the confidence. I know, but if you don't if you don't if you don't experience different type of girls before you get money, I still think it, it's a confidence thing. I, I understand that mm-hmm. it's it's all it's still with it's still his fault. It, yeah. it has not, it's not women's fault. Yeah. but you still have to understand women mm-hmm. and understand that there's different type of women that are. There's women that aren't even a, they don't even they're not even attracted to men as like facial feet. They're only attracted to status. Yeah. And those are the women that like it could be dangerous because if you don't retain your status throughout your whole life or you bring her around other men that have higher status than yeah. you. It's a wrap. It's I think a wrap. I think for me it's like it's always a thing because when DJ Academics has a lot of money, right? But I also think that there's stuff in our life that we go through, right? We get bu- I was getting bullied as a kid. I didn't get my confidence until like eighth grade, right? So I already had that built up confidence. So now when I have the money, it's like, all right, I know how to kind of maneuver. I think he didn't build that confidence up yet because he was, you know, talking behind a computer. But for a long period of time, academics never even showed his face. Side During- track, but sidetrack, don't let me get off topic. Yeah. But I was never, I never truly got bullied. Mm-hmm. Because I was never like, that shit didn't bother me, yeah. what people say. Because I'm like, at the end of the day, God invented guns. And if we got to take it there, <laughs> it only take one shot to kill this nigga. Yeah. I, used to get, <laughs> I, used to, I used to get flamed in a school where we all wore the same clothes. That's crazy. That shit Not, was insane. Nigga talking about, look at that nigga collar, bro. Yeah. But there are sometimes them. people wear stuff differently, like too. Like the shoes. Yeah, it's always a sh- They're going to find something. It was a shoe. shoes. I had uniforms sure. at some point. Shoes tried for the sure. uniforms. But back to the academic thing. Damn. I could just ask you another question because you was done with that. Yeah, it was. But, but, but so, what is. I thought the story was old. Both stories are somewhat old, I believe. Yeah, and I thought yeah. that one of them already got thrown out. <laughs> one of them, I think, was saying he said that no, no charges were pressed. Yeah. For that one, for the story with about the girl. He, he didn't mention the girl's name, but then she didn't came out and said academics was there too and you were involved as well. Yeah. yeah so, I don't know. That's yeah. like. <laughs> he's Again. still streaming and stuff and acting normal. So, I don't. I, that case already kind of went by and he said he had camera proof so yeah so i never obviously you know not to get into stuff Mm -hmm. with celebrities i just don't get i just don't get y'all one fellas out there here's some little advice don't talk to no girl whose favorite shows are all reality shows and all they do is fight the housewife stuff is okay that's (laughs) like that's like Borderline, like that's okay. All the girls but, that watch all but, the house but, reality shows right now. Yeah, like, oh, thank God, thank God. But y'all, y'all good, y'all good. But the bad girls club and all that shit, where it's like it's just pure drama, pure fighting, and you and your girl watching that like three hours a day. <laughs> it's and time she doesn't to watch anything else. It, right, it's time to go. Because that's just <laughs> that's shit lame. Look, it's like, what are you doing? To like, like, what? Why are you consuming this? Are you thinking you, you are what you consume in a sense? Hell, Hell yeah. yeah! Really? Hell yeah! Definitely. I'm not out here watching bullshit. So if you ate a Wendy's burger, are you a Wendy's burger? You a you a cow? 
<laughs> he said you yeah, are what you wait, yeah, wait. said you are what you consume. This is what this is crazy of what I heard. What I've heard <laughs> is that the patty was well, like I've never wait, 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 before you get into it, I've never seen you so excited to talk about something. Go ahead. I'm because proud dad theory, moment right here. Conspiracy theories and animals is my shit. But <laughs> I heard that like they have like farms where they kill like miniature bugs and mix them in with the meat. And that's why the meat tastes a certain way. Like from fast food places. Look it up. <laughs> it's called bug farms. Look it up. I believe you for some reason. Why would you make up this, right? This has to be true. It has to. Well, I'm not saying like that's a true statement, <laughs> but I'm just saying like <laughs> it's a possibility that it can happen. A bug farm. You know what? Anyway, speaking of fat people, but uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is because it was the thing where I saw uh, somebody's story. There were it's a bigger person, right? He was in the pool and he had a a white tank top on, and it's always interesting that. Are oh, you talking about Phantom? It was, it, I think it was Phantom. Yeah. But it's always funny that bigger people will get flamed no matter what. Yeah. yeah when you're no in the pool, if you have your shirt off, look, they gonna call you. They, look, like, look, look at his titties. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And if you keep a tag top on, like, like yeah. fat ass, take take fat off your shirt ass. off, fat ass nigga. Shirt on, don't get in the pool. Yeah. Oh, big ass don't want to get in the pool. <laughs> yeah. You get in the pool. They talking about man, this over here used to be five feet. When you got in the pool, it's six foot. Now. <laughs> fat ass nigga. Fat jokes is so unauthentic. Like nigga can just say, but you can say up, any is that everybody laughing. Yeah. It's so ugly. It's so like low hanging fruit. At least being like. Ugly is subjective, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if you say all you ugly as fuck, it's very subjective. You're a bigger dude, you're just a bigger dude. Yeah. The only way you can lose, like, usually most bigger people have, like, people try them for no reason. You mm -hmm. know, the dude with low self esteem, the bully, they go straight to, like, the fat person and be like, try to say, like, a fat joke. So, most bigger people, they got, like, a really big arsenal of jokes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They don't play that shit, right? They used to that shit. But, they always got like one fault and one style that can always be the bigger person. Is a person don't respond to none of your jokes and don't even try to reach for no jokes mm -hmm. and just wait till you're done talking to them <laughs> and just say, shut your fat ass up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like no matter what. the whole what. room laugh. Yeah. Yeah. That shit the fat ass. dude going crazy. Like look, you look like Martin Lawrence, droopy face, look like you had a stroke on one side, half lip, half motherfucker. <laughs> Shut your fat ass up, nigga. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> squabble then, <in>, nigga. <laughs> oh, like, here squabbling. Uh, did you hear about the the Remy Ma and the Papoose thing with the Easy to Block Captain? Easy to Block Captain. You're the, you're a battle of uh, rapper, a uh, rap uh, <laughs> correspondence. I really am. If, it, <laughs> if the culture wasn't so lame, I would be. I'd definitely like dive into it more. There's way too many nerds in that bitch. You think so? Way too many nerds with opinions in that bitch. <laughs> way too many. You got like people like when you look at like some of the battle rap people, it's either like they too caught up in the past or they're like super nerdy and don't know what the fuck going on. It's like. You imagine Twitter trolls? Mm -hmm. That's the whole battle rap community. Like, there's no, like, positive. Like, you can't do anything. There's people that still troll, like, Hitman and all these, like, legend battle rappers because that's the only way to, like, get a battle. Yeah. Is to, like, bring somebody down and bring somebody up that's not supposed to be there because so many people have matched up against <laughs> each other. So now we got to act like Hitman Holla never did anything and then act like this other person did more than... What he really has done, yeah, just to get a good matchup going. It's kind of like boxing, mm -hmm. but it's just like boxing. Like there's no two boxers like Earl and Terrence. The Boxer. they had the most respect, respectable like respect for each other. Yeah, like there, and there was still some trash talk. Mm -hmm. Like Terrence still got into it with Earl's brother. Like there was still because it's fighting. It's like words. Yeah. I have to say something, especially battle rap. There's no like me and you battle rap. Like, I have to, even if, like, I've seen friends battle rap, you still got to say something. You're disrespectful. At some point, yeah. you got to be like. Something if, you know is going to get a reaction out of me or some shit. But usually, like, when friends battle rap, <laughs> they just say, like, what's public knowledge. Yeah. Anything that's public knowledge, as long as I don't bring nothing out of the world works. Like, yeah, Do you yeah. think family is off limits when you're friends battle rapping? Hell yeah. As long as, it, it just depends on, like, how, how you joke. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or the like, relationship Like, if you, say, if you say you're going to kill somebody, a whole family and stuff like that, then, you know, I feel like it's on limits. Yeah. But <laughs> if you, like, 
specify like and say his daughter's name or some shit like that. He'd be like, all right, bro. Nah, daughter's name would be crazy. Nah, that's super crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the question was though. <laughs> I don't even know if I answered your question. But I, I was Matt just no, that was you guys. Remy Ma. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit, I did. No, I know you but did. Papoose and Remy Ma. Uh, basically, Geechee Gotti went against uh, Easy the Black Captain, and then he said a bunch of stuff that ended up being true. Basically, what it was is that. Uh, Remy Ma and Easy Block Captain supposedly had an affair. Papoose caught Easy Block slipping, punched him in his face. Easy Block Captain won't revenge. They say it's fake. They say it's not. It's back and forth. There's audio being leaked. It's on TMZ. And that's really really much it. Like, no, nothing much to Remy it. Remy Ma owns like a battle league. So it's like good press for both. Everybody getting good press out of it. So it could be fake. And uh, that's going to lead into... I don't even know if we can say I mean, we've been getting demonetized so much um, about Bill Clinton is like being unmasked on the Epstein list. Uh, the, yeah, there, there, there's been people that they keep saying they're gonna release that list for the Epstein Island list and stuff like that. Yeah, and they said it's coming. In, they said it's coming in January though. So if January passes, then I'm not believing no more shit because they've been saying January for. Six I think people months. are probably just trying to get like. But people, they, the list is out, and people, I don't know, is they're taking bribes or something to get their names off the list yeah, or some yeah, shit yeah, right yeah. now. That, that's what's going yeah. on. They're giving people, uh, it's bid and war going yeah. on right now. They're like, hey, a certain amount of people got to come out because we told everybody about the list. Now it's a bidding war because there's three names that they said are being redacted from the list already. Oh, damn. Yeah, there's yeah, three yeah. names that aren't coming out. And maybe damn. because. They More paid. likely because those three names would cause chaos. Yeah. That's the only time America releases shit. Like they I think like when Trump was in office, they released like the real documents of who killed Kennedy and how it was like mm-hmm. an inside job. Sorry, sorry about UFOs and shit. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. Niggas UFOs, started, niggas, niggas, like, niggas started, niggas started Space Force. Yeah, nigga, <laughs> nigga already had their booty holes probed. Now you want to say it's UFOs. After a nigga that came back. Nigga, what about the nigga 20 years ago when he came back? How about they went through my booty. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Oh, my God. When did they start saying that? What? That the aliens be probing them. Was that just in movies or did that actually? I never heard about that. I'm not gonna I lie. was gonna say, no, that's for real, bro. <laughs> that's a pat. They, they did it to you. They got you, <laughs> they nigga. Got this nigga. <laughs> that's why you got niggas. Me, me, my, my, my. <laughs> <laughs> Open that booty hole, nigga. That'd be crazy if it was an alien translator. And he's like, oh shit, the aliens here. <laughs> And then, like, let's say us three, like, got contacted by aliens. and be like, bro, we can't understand you. And they, like, me, my boom, we, like, then we can't understand you. And they hand us, like, a translator. And we put it on our ears, like, yeah, we about to fuck the shit out of all of you. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, like, a listener got like, no, we got, we got a podcast, bro. <laughs> no. We're going to put y'all on the map, man. One listener caller. But going back to the list. <laughs> damn, I'm good at getting back here. Yeah, you're good. Come on. Man, we, we, Lions, we, Lions, 2024, man. man we we, we get, stay on track for topics. Mm, Lions, man. Shout out to the Lions, man. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. It's, the, it's an inside joke because this nigga Pat has bad, like, ADHD, like yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his attention span is terrible. Yeah, squirrel. <laughs> 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 but so, uh, so Bill Clinton, somebody said Bill Clinton being on that <laughs> list is like LeBron being announced for the All Star game. <laughs> what? That's like, crazy. Damn. Like nigga, we know. <laughs> <laughs> we want the surprises. Like I expect to see Bill Clinton. I honestly, Did Justin I, Beyonce on there? That'd be crazy. I, it was like a fake list. I don't know if it was fake. Now, or all real. the lists that you've ever yeah. seen are fake. Yeah. Oh, God. Every single list that you've ever seen. I think is any fake. information we hear about the list is fake. Yes. They're it, not letting shit who out. Who the fuck got this list? Huh? The government has the list. Yes. This was. It's, they've been had it. They've mm-hmm. been had this for some years. That's so stupid. The reason. Know? The reason why Epstein even got arrested in the first place because he was even talking about exposing the list. Mm-hmm. So everybody went out. Most of these stars that you see um, have these cases, they've already had the cases. People have already known. But they're doing something to somebody of, like, higher power, and that person is coming back down on them like, oh, damn, you trying to sue me? (laughs) (laughs) All right, back. It's just like the Deshaun Watson thing. Yeah, Deshaun Watson shit been happening. Then he turned on the organization like, okay, I don't want to play for y'all no more. Like, all right, Mr. Yeah. Massage Man. <laughs> we'll see how this work out for you. Speaking <laughs> of that, that nigga Joe Flacco been going crazy. Been going they nice. might not even, well, they already fucked themselves. Bro. Signing <laughs> <laughs> this man Key is so funny, bro. I sent him uh, 
it was a meme. Like, it was, like, literally a joke, like a parody thing. It said, Bill Cosby to be a new player in Fortnite. And this nigga keep like, bro, when the fuck, what the fuck they on? Why would they do that? <laughs> bro, I said, Key. This is why all those fake uh, sites get to live on, because niggas like Key. <laughs> that nigga Key probably has some stressful ass days. <laughs> bro, bro did, they, did you know the world ended on the 21st? <laughs> why they just announced that, bro? It's not too far-fetched, though. They got, Fortnite got a Bro, they would never Bill put Cosby? Cosby, bro. He's, they got Bender in there. Bill they Cosby. They got Peter Griffin in there. Bill Those Cosby, who was in jail. For doing like nasty hey, sh- Fuck that <laughs> He's said name Bender They're and cartoons they got- Right but they got meanings to them too They're cartoons Fictional characters Bill Cosby they- putting pills in women's drinks Bill Cosby mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, you not listening. When you do that, you not listening. Anytime you hear Key say, "Mm-hmm," it's like, yeah, that's, 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 that's 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 Key not trying to argue with you, but not really agreeing. Yeah, yeah. Like, nah. <laughs> like, like, mm-hmm. nah, Bender and Bill Cosby same level, same level, bro. <laughs> Let's get the listener calls, man. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That you you really believe that too? What? That Bill Cosby and Bender are on the same level. No, oh, no, I don't actually believe that. Bill Cosby nasty. But I fuck with Bender. <laughs> 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 fuck a nigga head up. Get y'all off the subject. <laughs> Listener callers. <laughs> Let's get to list callers. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. This app is an easy way to make cash just by making picks on your favorite players. All you have to do is pick if players will have a higher or lower stat total to win while picking between two and five players to build a pick entry. Underdog is available in more than 30 states. Make sure to support the show and click the link in the bio. Download the Underdog Fantasy Sports app. They will also match your first deposit up to $100 when you use the code DUMMIES. Pat, what picks are you doing this week? Okay, if you want to see my picks, check the story Wednesday or Thursday for live picks. Here are my picks for today. Um, I got Banchero. Over points, rebounds, and assists. I got Tyrese Maxey higher on points. I got Steph Curry higher on points. And I got Joel Embiid higher on points. And trail at your own risk. <laughs> no, no, no. Trail and get your family out the hood. Because I just put $1,000 on that. So, hey. Anyway, thank you for Underdog for sponsoring this episode. And make sure to use the code DUMMIES. Uh, now back to the show. What's the fucking deal, man? What up with it, man? It's been a minute, man. I'm back. I'm ready. I'm rebooted, man. I'm man, on this. Man, <laughs> man well, you, you just got to come over to Lions Nation now. Broncos Nation done, man. Man, fuck Russell Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> you give a fuck, nigga. Get that money up, nigga. Duh. You fucking suck, nigga. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I got some. What you got to say to Russell Wilson? Man, fuck Russell Wilson. You fucking suck, nigga. Give us the fucking money back. You fucking robbed us, bro. <laughs> if it wasn't for champagne, you'd be ass again. <laughs> We don't even call this nigga Russell no more. This nigga is Sierra husband. <laughs> this nigga name is Sierra husband. Let's go with the fucking question, man. I don't even want to talk about this shit anymore. <laughs> hold on, hold on. But what if it... So he's saying he don't want to get the money back. What you got to say to that? Shit, nigga, this shit going to be the easy or the hard way. If you want to go the hard way, we can take it there too, motherfucker. We need that money, though. I got to get that fucking money back, bro. That nigga suck. <laughs> Sorry, bro. We need that money, bro. We asked nicely already, motherfucker. <laughs> I, gotta know. I got a question for you uh, yeah. If all the states had a war Which state would win and why Man listen This shit not even a question Who the fuck get fuck with Cali These niggas got bloods, crips Mexican cartels, Hispanics They got all type of shit bro Imagine getting chased by some niggas You go two blocks over You see Mexicans riding on horses Or fucking Man, listen, this shit won't even be close, bro. Can't nobody fuck with Cali. It's too many gangs, too many. They got everything, bro. It's not even close. If, They're okay. also one of the most progressive, like, states in the sense of, like, <laughs> uh, little rules and stuff like that. So it might hey, not, everybody favorite, might not be cut like that. You got you to gotta go back and watch all them old-ass 70 movies. Man, them Mexican motherfuckers be killing niggas for no reason. <laughs> and just the fact that you're going to run into Bloods and Crips, too, they got the whole world blood and Cripping. This shit started in Cali. How the fuck y'all got this shit in New York? Why the fuck y'all got it in Texas? These niggas, these niggas manipulated the fucking U.S. 
Everybody <laughs> loves the Chris Rock. That shit started in Cali. Don't nobody want to fuck with So, that. you being from Detroit, you don't think Detroit stands a chance? Whoa, Michigan. Oh, Detroit. Or that's, Michigan, that's, sorry. That's, you being from Michigan, you don't think Michigan stands a chance? No, Detroit niggas stand a chance against anybody. We'll push anybody's shit back. <laughs> but what you got to understand is Cali got so many different cities. They got, you got, you got Compton, you got fucking L.A., you got Oakland, <laughs> San Fran, like, come on, man. Hold on, hold on, on, hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Because it, it, it's some cities in Michigan that want to know. Oh, you know what? Who, who, who not, no, 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 wait, no, I'm no, no. About it. Yeah, who, you who not making the cut? Because you saying, I get what you saying. You saying Cali got bigger cities and more people to participate in the war, but Michigan list is kind of cut short. So who who not making that list? Oh, I can tell you who ain't what state ain't hitting on it. Who? Motherfucking Nebraska. Oh, no, you can't, no, you can't diss the O. I don't give a fuck Omaha. about... Hey, hey, hey Omaha hey, here, baby. Hey, hey them, them, them Omaha niggas different, but you niggas is finished. <laughs> Omaha, listen, Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas, oh, you niggas is dead meat. <laughs> they don't got shit shaking over there, bro. I'm telling you. Oh All I know is the South gonna save us. The same... Oh, the, the South? This actually, the South? No, no, no. I actually know that. I don't know about the South. Everybody in the South be like... But didn't the South lose the first war? Hey, listen, one <laughs> thing South, hey, if the South won, we'd still be slaves. <laughs> if you start, oh my goodness! If you start a fight with the South, one thing about them niggas, the South is one state. Them niggas all mm. come together. So not I including Florida, though. Not including Florida. Yeah, well, Kentucky they asked out because nobody could claim them. I can tell you right now, Kentucky ain't part of the South. Niggas be saying they ain't part of the South. <laughs> niggas like Delaware, states like Delaware, you fucking cook. Like nobody got no fucking business out there, bro. <laughs> they won't even last the first hour. They fool. Delaware, <laughs> Vermont. What the fuck is you niggas even trying to get in war for? You niggas barely even in the state in the United States of a fucking America. <laughs> nah, what they were the first ones? <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Trust me. All right. I, I didn't even want to talk about Maine. We gonna leave them niggas where they at because this shit will get bad for them real bad. <laughs> Now they definitely got to team up, bro. All the boys hey, states got to team up. <laughs> Rhode Island and all them. Yeah, yeah. the Dakotas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they, they, they got to team up. And even if they team, they only last in about thirty seconds. <laughs> so this shit is bad. Anyway, all right, bro. Appreciate you coming on, bro. Yep. All right. Take it easy. Boys. Happy. Hey, shut up. What's up? <laughs> Shut up, bro. Why do you always gotta make something to lose? Bro, nigga, we didn't even say anything. We were just laughing. All right, all right, shut up, shut up. You <laughs> so know, I have you a grudge in you, niggas. Like, shut up. <laughs> I remember this nigga. Oh, <laughs> no wonder you so hostile. You do from the live, <laughs> right? Shut up, shut up. Yeah, yeah, I'm the one you roasted last time when I was drunk as fuck. Oh, you was drunk? That's why you was acting like that? Yeah. Good, good. I thought you was just stupid as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Shut up, you dickhead, bro. <laughs> you was like, we was sometimes at, at some point during that conversation, we was trying to Is say. Is that why some, you do like a bald book? Oh no, you really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you still acting the no, same no, way. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Oh, okay. I was drunk. I was drunk. Oh, okay, because because at some point in that conversation, we was trying to talk to you normally, and anything that we. Oh no, you was trying to tell a story. And, yeah. we was, and we was trying to let you tell the story. <laughs> and you were telling us to shut up when we weren't saying and anything. nobody was saying anything. You were just telling people just to shut up. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry. I mean, some some white people are just there talking next to me, innit? Oh, okay. But you was talking yeah. to us, though. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to you. You were telling us to shut up, but you weren't telling the white people to shut up. Oh, wow. That's reparations, crazy. reparations, reparations. You get deported. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what was the question we asked him? Oh, the question you ask is like, uh, what people would entire want to at my funeral? Oh, okay, got you. Who would uh, you not want at your funeral? So you know those people that they pay to come and cry at your funeral. <laughs> they pay people to come to, to cry at their funeral. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a thing? Where are you at? No, I mean, uh, cause uh, my like my ethnicity is African, like Kenyan, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, there, there, there's some people they pay to come and cry at your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I would definitely do that job. <laughs> no, nah, sure. bro. So my point is, like, imagine. Let's, for example, like, 
let's imagine you at your mom's funeral. No, you let's nigga? imagine that we at <laughs> your mom's funeral, nigga. <laughs> okay, okay, let's okay, let's imagine you at someone's funeral. Let's say your homeboy's funeral. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no why you keep okay. why you keep trying to okay. manifest your friends, dog? Yeah, yeah, you. Right, whatever, whatever. Let's imagine you at your funeral. Let's say a family <laughs> relatable person, and you see a nigga crying more than you, and that nigga doesn't even know the person, like. You're typically there for the money or the food. Like, why the fuck are you crying more than me? Like, I know the nigga. You don't know them. Like, why are you crying? About them? <laughs> you know, imagine sometimes your relatives can have friends that you don't know about. Yeah, but come on. These people, they paid and they come dressed almost the same. So you'll be like, is this like a fucking cult? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like real tears, like, like Oscar level yeah. tears. Real tears, like they even fall down and roll around the ground. They make you so emotional. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I see somebody stop, drop, and roll at my funeral <laughs> that we don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> no, nah, that, that's what I'm saying. Just imagine you're a funeral and you know, like, your homeboy, and then you just see. <laughs> like a treat your your homeboy, homeboy. <laughs> you. Why don't you say your homeboy? Okay, my homeboy. Fuck it. <laughs> 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 Bro, leave me alone, bro. I'm trying to be your friend, bro. Oh, fuck no. Where's Kito? He not here. Oh, I wanted to ask him a question. What question you want to ask him? No, because he always says he's the smartest out of you all, isn't it? So I wanted, I wanted to I ask him. I don't think he ever said question. that before. Uh, I, I can call Key for you. Hold on, I got uh, you. You can call him. I got you. We'll put you on the phone with him. All right, say less. And uh, I got a question for you guys as well as a podcast. Hold on, one, one, t one at a time, nigga. It's a podcast. Shut up. So what are you guys looking forward to in this new year? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're trying to get key first. and then No, go ahead. Go ahead. You can ask us a question. Okay, go ahead. Ask the question again. So my question was to you guys. What are you guys looking forward to in 2024 as a podcast? 2024, we about to bring... We're going to uh, do more guests. Yes, stuff. we're going to bring different <laughs> worlds to the podcast. Like We're going to... We just going to put our community, the community that we built, like us, you, including your stupid ass, we're going <laughs> to oh, put, wow. put us on different platforms and kind of like interact with different communities of like different podcasts, different creators. Because I think that's what it's time. I think we are a strong enough community now where we can like travel to different communities and still be all crash dummies type shit. Oh, that's yeah, but I've been a fan. I've watched uh, like all the episodes and I've listened to all what are you? What are you looking forward to this year? Oh, I'm looking for it to be financially stable and to get like a professional contract, football contract, like soccer. No, like. Oh, you're a good it. soccer player? Yeah, I play football in Europe. Are you good? Yeah, nigga. Bro, I'm black. It's not a sport if there's no black people. <laughs> <laughs> what what, what uh, position do you play? Uh, I play right winger or striker. What what city do you play in? Uh, I'm playing what in club? Budapest. I'm playing in Budapest. What club? Like what level of club? It's relegation it's league. Called, nah, what the fuck? Are you mad, <laughs> bro? I'm black. Come on. <laughs> you you, you can play for a regular a regulation team. Nah, I'm I'm playing first division. Oh fire! Yeah. Oh damn, good. that's good. That's good, bro. Hey, appreciate you coming on the show, Count Dracula. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> I, just invite me to your funeral. I'll bring some niggas to cry for. You. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's funny as hell. You fucking vampire. <laughs> a one, a two. <laughs> Anna J, what's the word? What, what's what's good? What's good? Anna J, shit, tell him I ain't trying to step it up on these cheap ass niggas all day, every day, folks. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, we got so we we heard that you want to run for the mayor of Milwaukee. Anna J, folks, I'm finna run for mayor 2024, folks. Anna J, if you you mind if we we mind if we give you some promo music so you can get your message out there. I'm a G, man, put that shit off. Bro. I got you, I got you. <laughs> and then you can start whenever you want. On a G, man, what's going down? It's your man, Mr. On a G, coming to you, letting you know, nigga, 2024, your man running for city, Milwaukee mayor on a G site. First order of business, getting rid of all cheap ass niggas, folks. You can't live in the city no more, folks. That's right. Next order, on a G. You got to have a pair of Cardis and a Switchy Fudge. That's the only way you're going to live in this bitch. Uh, uh, on a G. And last but not least, <laughs> folks. On a G. Last but not least, folks. I'm going to tell you like this. 
all cheap boss niggas gotta live either in Cutter Heights or Brookfield, folks, because that's where you're gonna be at. Like, you can't come to the city now, right? <laughs> Oh, what are you gonna we do with the potholes? All bad eyelashes, too, folks. Them big upside down ass umbrellas you bitches be wearing, folks. Y'all gotta take that shit somewhere else, folks. What about potholes? On that team, folks, we filling all potholes with nothing but cars, folks, on the team. <laughs> All right, you got my vote, man. Hey, I'm voting for you, <laughs> man. Uh, G Fox, 2024, Fox. Vote for Mr. Anna G Fox. All right, Brody, peace. Anna G. <laughs> Yo, welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast. What's up? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. I've been watching y'all since last summer, and I haven't missed the episode since. I'm so excited. I appreciate, I appreciate you. Uh, I got a question for you. <laughs> What's up? I don't know why Pat just so quiet. <laughs> all right. If all the states had a war, which state would win and why? North Carolina winning that because we got the most athletic criminals. Athletic criminals. Hmm. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> that means our athletes live double lives. Like, North Carolina, outside of Raleigh and Charlotte, is nothing to do. Like, it's straight small towns. So, it's nothing to do but be shicey and play sports for real. Mm. So, that's just the life we live. John, John Wall was one of the toughest niggas in the NBA. Right. And he breeded more, like. I'm trying to think about some other North Carolina. Uh... <laughs> John Moran is from the Carolinas. Oh, he is? Mm. Yes, he's mm. from the Carolinas. Y'all got, See, this is so low, like, oh, got shooters for sure. Yeah, <laughs> <Damn>, hold on. <laughs> no, actually, you know, I went to school in Charlotte, so. Oh, they sure know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, they, they be out there like that. Charlotte's definitely slept on. Charlotte area is a lot of places around in North Carolina. So y'all area. think y'all beat in Florida? See, Florida, they too, they too wild. Like, we're more calculated, calm. Florida mm. just, they're Florida just out of their mind for real. Florida might have a civil war before yeah, before they, they even start the war and stuff. They yeah. talk about, about only one city representing. Yeah. Like, Why don't we just all work together, bro? <laughs> <laughs> North Carolina, we coming together. We might even get together with South Carolina. Like, oh, true, mm. true. <laughs> oh, y'all tough. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about hey, fifty states, you know, nah, nigga, forty nine. <laughs> we, we in there. We in there I never understood the South and North Carolina thing. I got to do some research. Just two different states. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Literally just saying though, it's like Literally South of something's called North Carolina, South Carolina. For real, they all look the same. Yeah, the, the, my mom' house like four hours from Myrtle Beach. So there's like no cultural differences in each state. Not at all. It's the same thing. See, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It should just be one state. Carolina. Mm-hmm. So, if y'all, <laughs> so if y'all ain't got Myrtle Beach. Wait, where's where's uh where's where the Carolina Panthers from? North or south? North. Oh, okay. North Carolina. <laughs> you didn't know that? I don't know anything. That's <laughs> crazy. <I'm> just, <laughs> Did you know Clemson is in Carolinas? Clemson? South, yeah, South Carolina. That Clemson was in Alabama. Oh my fucking oh, wow. god! Clemson wow. is in uh South no, Carolina. Oh no, I knew that. I knew. I knew. I knew no, that. you didn't. No, I swear I knew that. <laughs> No, I didn't. swear I knew that. No, you didn't. I swear I knew. I was thinking about Auburn. Did you know South Carolina State's in South Carolina? Yes. Okay. Just know your brain at the Gamecocks. Whoa. They are the Gamecocks. Whoa. Oh, that's what it's called. oh, that's why you wanted to go there. So you can yeah. I never wanted to go, go there. Cox. All right. Thank you for coming on the pod. Appreciate you. Thank you for having me. You have a good one. Bye, my. This is a video that was said on uh, a sports show. Um, Jalen Milrow, who just lost to Michigan in the semifinals, the quarterback for Alabama, mm-hmm. he got a clothing line out, and it's called L A N K, and A N K Link, like the yeah Link. Mm-hmm. So, but it's an abbreviation, mm-hmm. obviously, for something. And one of the sports uh, commentators on the show was like, they were doing a story on him, and they were talking about his clothing brand, and then he said with the clothing brand's name. And it kind of got a little awkward, but not for a reason you think, though. Mm. And for the reason you think. <laughs> Over. Jalen Milrow often wears his own branded apparel, reading LANK across the front. It's an acronym that stands for Let a Naysayer Know. Being told by his former offensive coordinator, that Bill O'Brien. That is not O'Brien. what I thought. Is that not what you thought? <laughs> Boy. 
let a naysayer know. Let a naysayer know. <laughs> of course. The professional's right in the middle of his <laughs> lead. That's all right. I just keep I going. Thought you almost lost me. <laughs> 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 Tight up here, as you were. I swear <laughs> <to you. laughs> Who's that, Pat McAfee talking? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was going down. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going down right here. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, man. Let a naysayer know. Let a naysayer know. That's what we thought the whole time. That's what we all thought. Those of us who are more pure in thought knew there was the naysayers who needed to know. And being told by his former offensive coordinator, over. He was not like the dude that said it. Like he was not laughing like that. Yeah. He was like showing a little bit of chuckle, but he wasn't laughing because even him them saying naysayer it sounded so close. Because another nigga know is such a like common. <laughs> it's such a common thing to say. Hey, I, the funny thing I think what took everybody by surprise was. You would never think a sports apparel from the starting QB, like somebody like Jalen Milrow is a good dude, starting QB at Alabama. Mm-hmm. You would never think he would say, let a nigga know. Yeah, yeah. So you actually want to know what Link means. Yeah. Because it can't be, let a nigga know, even if you're thinking that way, which mm-hmm. you're probably not. Yeah. And then he say, let a, uh, and then you like, immediately you go, wait, this shit called let a nigga know? He yeah. go, naysay or Nays- no. Exactly. And it's just like, <laughs> it just throw you off. Like, I don't even know what, like, even when, even when Pat McAfee said it again, they're still like throwing me off a little yeah, bit. Because yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, naysay or just like, everything is just so close. Anybody, so this is what I want you to tell you about your friends. <laughs> if your friend made a naysay or tweet and they are white, they say nigga behind your back. <laughs> that guarantee, is true. I guarantee if because people, this is the only opportunity you get to say basically nigga online if you're a white person. Yeah. If you take advantage of it, yeah, because right it's now, like code. It's kind of like the what, what was the thing that people were calling uh, Joe Biden for the longest? Uh, let's go. What do you? Let's go, Brandon. Brandon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so random. <laughs> <laughs> the IQ on the motherfuckers right there. But that would be just like just that would be just like that. That's the only thing that helped us in like today's age. Is like the KKK got dumber. Like then niggas still got the same shit. Like, niggas <laughs> still burning crosses and shit. <laughs> now we know who y'all are. Y'all just stay south. <laughs> I'm just playing. They still out here. Uh, we were just so on listener they just calls. Judges and shit. Yeah, <laughs> on listener a calls. Prosecutor. <laughs> oh my god! Everybody in the prison system, the warden. Oh no! We got a problem in Black America. <laughs> <laughs> this is why people be saying. This is why people be saying that. Oh, Mike be cutting Pat off because he just be saying random shit. <laughs> hey, every time I put my Tim Foyle hat, nigga try to switch topics. <laughs> America needs help. Man. <laughs> He but, Mike is the Illuminati. Oh my of y'all God. <laughs> Listen, what I learned about podcasts is that the Illuminati, if you mm-hmm. if you got a duo or there's three or four of y'all that's starting to ascend and fame a little bit, they're only they only have to contact one person. You one, think it would be me? Yes. Why it me? You. No, it'd be tell. you. Every Hell time no. I talk about subjects and shit. <laughs> You cut me off, bro. <laughs> oh my God, how you, you feed it to like, no, nah, keep it comedy, nigga. <laughs> no, that is you, bro. That's you, bro. <laughs> Every time I talk about black issues, as soon as <laughs> <laughs> Why does it happen to the Illuminati? It's time, of the oppressors. As soon as I be like, you know who was on that Epstein list? You be like, yeah, bro. How many Pistons <laughs> player will will have to die for the like, nigga? What? <laughs> What he can't know about? the truth. <laughs> you know Bill Clinton was on that list. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, so so when you stop the Pistons? <laughs> they go, what? <laughs> the Pistons, though, they did win. Hey! <laughs> they got their ass beat the next night. <laughs> they did? Try <Trash. laughs> Fucking garbage, bro. You want to know how garbage you are? No offense, obviously. NBA, yeah. I hate when you can't talk shit about NBA players because they all can beat you one on one. Yeah, you nigga, can talk. You're the consumer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Nigga, you're not funnier than me, nigga. How about that? <laughs> you can say that you can't watch comedy. <laughs> but I knew they sucked when they were coming to the press, and like it was positive quotes mm-hmm. because when you're actually having like chemistry problems or like coaching problems or whatever. Somebody is the scapegoat in the media. Mm -hmm. So, like, when the Bears was doing bad this year, Justin Fields was just like, I don't think the offense coordinator put me in the right position. Yeah. Remember he said that? Yeah. Dropped the bomb in the media and shit. That's what happens. Frustration and leaks out. Every time these niggas lose, 
they on some zen shit. Like, I know I got to keep going. They yeah. not blaming nobody. Nah, yeah. So you niggas going in the locker room like, bro, we ass, bro. <laughs> we ass. But we got to get some. These niggas getting moral victories out here. They have to. Yes. At that point, that's all you can really because settle it's for. really fucking with your mental health. Yeah. What I, what I realized is that. To lose that much? There's, when, when they were going up the record books for most losses in a row. I was looking at some of the teams that they were past, and I was like, damn, I was alive that year, and I was watching basketball that year, and I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. Because social media wasn't like this. Yeah. Like, to lose every day. You didn't know every little stat of everything. This is the first time a team that lived in Detroit has lost by this many points in consecutive games. Bruh. <laughs> it's just like random ass stats. Bruh, it's literally, there's literally accounts that are being made off of Pistons losing. Mm -hmm. There's like a Wingstop account that's famous now. Yeah. Parody Wingstop. That's basically saying, y'all fuck niggas never gonna win. We never giving y'all ch chicken, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's, there's a... A new K Cunningham one that was dissing him every game, showing all his bad stats. It's like K Cunningham sucks. Got like five thousand followers. Damn, like there's shit being created. I know five thousand might not seem like anything to somebody like K that got, but there's still five thousand people following an account mm -hmm. just to hate on somebody for this sequence of time. Not even like I hate K Cunningham. I hate K Cunningham because it's popular too at this time. That's crazy. Yeah. These niggas be creating. It's a Drew Walls Muse account. <laughs> Y'all don't know who Drew Walls is. You do, not on Twitter. I feel like I don't. I'm, I shouldn't even explain it to you. Mm. Just fast forward a little bit, little nigga. <laughs> but Drew. <laughs> what what the, I don't know. Uh, people in the audience probably didn't hear that either. <laughs> but it's like it sound like they let that shit go outside. Yeah, it sound like it sound like gunshots, bro. <laughs> Somebody I was just, like, what the fuck? My God. <laughs> and some listeners, audio listeners out there, let that bitch rain. Hey, I always wonder Come like, to the motherfucking streets. <laughs> if, if we let somebody if somebody got a shot right there, and we cooking up here. <laughs> Like bro, somebody shot, bro. No, no, no. I gotta get this thought off though, bro. Yeah. Would you rather? <laughs> but like you're saying, Drew's the guy, uh, the person on on Twitter. You guys see like that does the Target shopping. Mm -hmm. We actually went to college with him and we're uh, friends with him and stuff like that. So yeah. we're gonna try to get him on the pod probably next episode. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, but yeah, yeah. But yeah, people creating fucking accounts. There's a Drew Walls Muse account mm -hmm. that has like a bunch of followers. And people are just use. There's accounts based on using his memes that never used anything before. Like yeah. they haven't tweeted since 2017. Yeah, <laughs> and they just got. It's just crazy, man. How the internet work? I would never want to lose in this era. Yeah, I, I was uh, <coughs> going back to like the Detroit thing. You know how like they had like the, the the saying Detroit versus everybody. Yeah, I hate when other cities start doing that too. It be like. Random ass city like mm -hmm. uh, Pinedale, Pinedale versus everybody, and like Pinedale's in fucking Wyoming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, it's like what is like what what is everybody? I know, but um, this is where I think this is where I think the origin of haters comes from. Mm -hmm. I, <clears throat> I think the origins of haters come from dick riders. <laughs> you ever realize you don't hate anybody that much? You s sometimes hate their fan base. Yeah, that, like, that's there's a lot of people that don't like LeBron. Mm -hmm. But they can't tell you why they don't like LeBron until they talk to somebody from his fan base. Because if the fan base does make it worse. I think the fan base also starts uh, drama as well. Yeah. Between like, it only be Wait, like. What was the original question? <laughs> uh, people versus everybody. Right. Yeah. So my theory on that is that sometimes stuff is created before and somebody else gets popular from it. And then everybody goes and hates on the person that had it before saying they're copying. So that's why, you know what I mean? You never yeah. know who had it first. Yeah. What if the first shirt ever was fucking Idaho versus everybody? And Detroit sure. like, damn, that's fire. We about to take it from y'all knowing we way more popular than y'all. And then you come back years later and see an Idaho versus everybody and be like, yeah, they stole this from Detroit. It's always a, the thing is like nobody really knows the originator of anything anymore. No. Nah. Yeah. So you don't know what was the first versus everybody. You don't know what, what was the first anything. You just assume that he the first person to do it. The best basketball player in the world probably went to prison his whole life. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know where nothing the at, reason, nigga. The reason I was looking at my phone when you were talking about that was uh, I was trying to find um, Cardi B yelling at her. Her, her fans in, in Twitter spaces. Basically, we're saying that her fans are the one that's spreading the rumors and stuff like that. She was going off. Did I confirm anything? Shut the fuck up! About to delete my whole fucking social 
social media because y'all don't shut the fuck up. And it's the same fucking dumb, my own fucking fan base. The last time I got dragged was because my fucking fan base. I don't see nobody talking shit but my own fucking fan base. But y'all want to send me a fucking book just to talk shit on the fucking timeline. Did I confirm all this with a man? No. So why the fuck y'all keep talking? Leave me the fuck alone. The fuck? <laughs> she, she's obviously going through something. Yeah, yeah. Right obviously, it's a, uh, if it's not for clicks, but if I don't know, you know, it's hard to differentiate the two when somebody is doing something to lead into an album, mm-hmm. or are they do? Are they really having a mental episode? Yeah, like, I think the thing that we don't know because we're not there. The thing too is like it just the the thing that come with being um, a celebrity sometimes is that you can't really pick and choose when. You want people to leave you alone, and yeah. when you want them to fuck with you, is that the it, way you make money? Is that the way yeah. you make money? Yeah. And it's it's kind of like the, it's sad, but it's also just one of those things that comes with it. It's just like your fan base are gonna be defend you even when you don't want them to defend you. Yep. They're gonna anybody that comes for you. That's the point of building a, a strong fan base. Yeah, and that's what comes with it. When you have like a cult like audience, yeah, they're gonna do whatever. Ariana Grande and all those like the the barbs and stuff like that. You think Nikki really wanted to be for half of these people? But the thing is, what but but what she doesn't realize is like the way the way you rap and the the lyrics you have. Usually, like if I'm a fan of an artist that means they say a lot of relatable things to yeah. me that pertains to my life or whatever so that's that's why i follow you so you basically look at your lyrics and then what type of fan base you think you're gonna get with mm-hmm. that if you're gonna get like and i don't do this shit. you know what I'm, saying? I'm not trying to say what's one of her lyrics but yeah that's what type of lyrics i think when like, you i think like when us, you evolve we, we joke we joke a lot right mm-hmm. so if my uncle died <laughs> mm-hmm. which he not no one of my uncles died. But if somebody in my family died, mm. if somebody trolls me on the internet and I cry about it, what does that say about me? So I'm just saying a joke when it's like when nobody in my family died or like when I talk about the, the doves, it, yeah. the doves one. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If I appreciate, do you appreciate that comedy at all times? What if somebody comes at you like that? Yeah. And it also depends on the person. First of all, the people actually call us for it too. That's what, the, that's the difference. Yeah, it's so they're already comfortable enough to laugh and talk about it with us. So different than you going through something and then somebody coming to you and trolling you about it. Nah, you don't think so? Mm-mm. I think it's a little different. A tiny bit. I but think it'd no, be no, different. I'm, I'm, saying, be, I'm saying, but you got to know that comes with it. I'm not yeah, yeah. saying that's right that they yeah. do that. Nah, oh, yeah. it's definitely not right. Mm-hmm. It's definitely not right if you're doing it for a joke for somebody that that person really knows. Obviously, it's a difference. Mm-hmm. But are you opening that door for it? Yes. And yeah, I mean, we open to- the door for people to talk shit about. It's just, you guys should see our DMs. It's just people talking shit or saying wild shit. But that's the thing about, like, Cardi B only has one album out, right? And Cardi B so. is super popular, super talented. But she still only has one album out. The thing that keeps her relevant is her features and... Her like, personality. Her personality. Yeah. Like, she's a really, like, everybody loves her personality. She was like, a reality TV star before, too. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. She just has So people that. are always been in her business. And reality TV comes with drama. There has to be a mm-hmm. plot to yeah. something. You're not just gonna, like, go off into... Your fans are never gonna let you go off into the sunset. There has to be... People liked you because of where you came from, and then you might have had, like, a little setback, and then you went further, and you went further. People like that story. Mm-hmm. That's why people follow you. Yeah. So they'd be like, oh, she got a come back from you no know, being away from her man or whatever the rumor is spread i don't even know the damn rumor but yeah that, that's straight to the point too of like how fan bases can kind of start beefs like where that's that's why okay. i kind of brought the the cardi thing cuz i obviously don't know the beef between cardi and nikki right but i would like to think right this is just my opinion that is nothing like if nobody physically died or nobody was physically got hurt before like if things got physical between them it's like it's really about like it started off maybe somewhat competitive, yeah, and some shade being thrown one way or another. But I feel Somebody, like the, yeah. the 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 fan base is always trying to say, "Nah, Nikki's better than this person," and say something maybe like Cardi might actually like a comment or Nikki likes that comment. Then it's like, "Oh, you agreeing with your fan base yeah, and shit like that." Is, all it takes is one like, like comment. exactly. It could be. It could be a like is a cosign now. It could be a <laughs> like. It could be like let's say you're boxing and you get to like the top ranks and it's a dude that's a weight class above you. You really respect them, mm-hmm. but you've never said anything publicly about it. And then I like a tweet that says Mike is way better than 
Chavo Guerrero. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. he way better than him. And Chavo, see that? Like, oh, that's what y'all on? This is what your man said. This got to be what you said. I honestly would think you're trolling, though. Who? If you ever did that. No, nah, fuck that nigga. No. <laughs> I, th- I would think you were trolling if you liked a tweet like that, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, trolling you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now nah, you got Mike. Mike not even training right now. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, real, that nigga not ready. <laughs> that's, that's how that's how fan bases. Yeah, like bro, they drive people apart. You never know what drove them apart, or they could have just really beefed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somebody could have really just said some slick shit. Yeah. Um. So there was a a Reddit post, right? It said, "Being a small business is not an excuse to have high prices." Um. This is what it reads. I see too many small businesses specifically specifically on TikTok trying to justify their ex, uh, prices. One claimed that fifteen dollars cookie for one claim fifteen dollar for cookies was fine because they handmade sprinkles. No, that's not fine. If those sprinkles cost that much to make, start buying sprinkles because the fact is consumers don't care if you handmade or not. Just because your business is unsustainable doesn't mean it's other people's fault for not wanting to buy your overpriced crap. Mm. What do you think about that? They're right. You think so? I don't think uh, the only thing I don't get about complaining is just like I think if, if I if every if every store in my city put tissue at a certain price, then I can complain about tissue. Yeah. But to pick up somebody's product when it's probably similar products all around that product, and then to complain about their price. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you went to it like that's like me going to Insomnia Cookies. And complaining about the cookie price. And then go get a cookie from Subway. Yeah. Like, go find a different and cookie. The, and the thing, as being like a small business owner too, like with the clothing brand and other stuff too, is like there are, when you buy things in bulk, right? Those big businesses, right? Like Walmart and whatever, they can buy things in bulk and meaning they get a, a lower price mm-hmm. to, to get a lower acquisition price, right? If you're a small business, you may not be able to buy stuff in bulk like that or the way like you know you just have lower minimum so it's, the stuff is going to be a little pricey even I, as a person that owns a uh, as part of a clothing brand we have, sometimes you have to price your stuff a certain way so you can be in next to those other things in a certain yeah, way because yes, the thing yeah. people value prices chrome heart jeans right yep chrome heart jeans are just levi jeans yeah that's it they're mm-hmm. two thousand dollar jeans but they're just levi jeans with with a little Extra aesthetics with, with, on it, right? I mean, look at, look at, I mean, the perfect example is the great late Virgil, mm-hmm. right? Literally doing minimum designs to shoes that were already created. Yeah. And like, if you look at those fours and you take Virgil designs off those off white fours, the shoe's probably $220. Mm-hmm. You literally add some words in a damn, whatever that little yeah. band is, I w- and it turns into a $1,200 mm-hmm. shoe. I will say, though, with small businesses, especially, like, just, like, people in general, like, oh, support my small business. Mm-hmm. They also, the thing I don't like sometimes is just, like, the effort they put into their small business. That's the it's problem. The, it's the quality and the, stuff like you that. You know what effort they're putting into it? The same effort that the big competitor is putting into mm-hmm. it. You can't do that. Yeah. I can go to the big competitor knowing that I can get probably a little bit more variety and I can get it more in bulk. Mm-hmm. With you, <laughs> I expect better quality. That's yeah. why I'm coming to you. Exactly. And I get and but on the other side, I'm giving you quality and I'm giving you a little bit more personal. Like a personal touch to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm mm-hmm. giving you more personal touch yeah. to it. It's just like, bro, I'm giving you this. So I get the charge a little bit more, but the customer's part is like. Okay, that quality need to be there every time because yeah. I can go here I just think, cheaper, quicker. I think people just need to like if you own a small business, you just have to put you have to put in more work. You can't just rely on people saying that that's my friend, so I'm gonna go support. You shouldn't <laughs> yeah. go to you. I tell people this all the time. Like mm. there's like businesses don't work like that. Like the people that you know, when Northwestern Mutual was going out here hiring everybody, yeah. right? Trying to get people basically They hire you to get your family and friends on it. That's how you start. And then you get a bunch of other people on. MLMs do that too. Yeah. yeah. So (laughs) you, you start this way, but you don't know if your quality is good or not because your family, they probably already have this similar type of insurance. They just switch over to you. Mm -hmm. Cool. And you probably throw them a deal. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? That's your selling point. You can't do that to everybody. You gotta go see if you're a good salesman. Exactly. I need to cut the time and have. Then you would delete that sorry ass music you have. 
<laughs> if you don't just send it to your cousin, Any, anything that I've always started, I never started with like, like even the podcast. We didn't openly say we had a podcast. We just say let's ride with the with an audience that we don't know because I don't want to have. I never want to have like fake numbers in, in in terms of like or people just buying stuff because it's me. I want people to buy stuff because they like now, it. Yeah, don't get me wrong. When you first start out, yeah, you, you have to. Don't don't get that part wrong. That's you can how, do whatever you want. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying but, how. But what that's I, usually how it starts. You do send it to your family and yeah. friends, but you don't keep pushing it on your like. Once you post, I think I posted the podcast on Facebook in two years. I think I posted the podcast on my personal Facebook maybe like four times. Yeah. They see your shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you they see that shit. Yeah, they see it. They see it. Nobody is ever jumping on your shit. When people that I know that are my friends on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, when they come to me and be like, now they're just now saying this, hey, bro, I just saw your podcast. It's dope. Like, no, you knew I had a podcast. Mm-hmm. You just actually saw it, and then now you see it. Yeah. Now it's like, what's up? That's a big ass difference. Mm-hmm. Then yo, then somebody saying, "Man, I'm on episode five right now, bro. Y'all, y'all gonna kill it." Yeah. Those are the messages <laughs> yeah. I remember. Yeah. What happened to those four X dudes? Four X niggas. Yeah. I don't see like those events and shit no more. They ain't like they probably in stocks and bonding, like, <laughs> watching that shit. <laughs> boy, I know if I see that shit on somebody's story and but- shit, boy. Those um those events used to be really funny. Oh, that's what they're doing now. What? They they got uh parlay groups. <laughs> Anybody that think they're gonna be uh profitable no uh, now you don't know sports. If you don't know sports at all, then yeah, you should go to like that person if you want to gamble. But you shouldn't be gambling on something you don't know. Yeah, you shouldn't if you, be. Don't, if you don't know it personally, why would you put your money on somebody else's other hand? Because the thing about when you put money if you let people bet for you in a sense, they can bet more recklessly because you're already betting with me, right? It's like if it's not my money, you can bet. Re- you can bet like anything. What? I used to because I used to trade. I used to trade uh, forex too. I did. I had like a demo account and stuff like that. I was trying to learn and stuff like that just by myself without mm. doing like the groups. And then you pretty much get like fake money to start with, uh, and you can put like you, I have a hundred thousand dollars, so I'm making. Hundred thousand uh, dollar plays and shit like you can do like so when you're not paying people or it's not their money, mm-hmm. their you mindset. Gotta realize the person, the person that's doing that business, they charge you an entry fee. Mm-hmm. That's how they made their money. Mm-hmm. So not only are they making money on the side, they're also using that money to show you bets with your money. Yeah, you're paying twenty five dollars a month, and he has ten of you. That's two hundred fifty dollars. Y'all wonder why he get to bet all these ten dollars <laughs> slips. <laughs> Yeah. Now he get the bet every day. Eventually he gonna hit because mm. he's betting every fucking day. And to be let just like, just everybody just do it like you know. Which when you're doing all this like gambling and stuff like that, just do it responsibly. That's it. Yeah. Don't don't be reckless. Most it, the, the, it's funny because even if you're a good gambler, technically all that shit is is your savings account. Yeah. Because the only thing you're doing is putting in ten dollars every day, and then it's giving you your money back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You put ten dollars in every day for three hundred days. That's three thousand dollars, and then you on line bragging about winning twenty seven hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Where your other three hundred dollars yeah. at, nigga? Do you think um, in store shopping would ever end for like um, like clothing, like in store shopping versus online shopping? Where do you kind of like? What do you like more? Um. I like in store. Yeah, a little you are, bit. You are, you are in store person. I definitely. I yeah. hate <laughs> online shopping. I hate being wrong. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's gonna be always those type of people. Like, yeah. I hate sending shit back. I hate being wrong. I don't want to get in. It's a different color. Because I, mean, I, still, I I've I've, I've like walked. I'm st- I'm indecisive about clothes. So yeah. I, I like walked up to the register and just be like, damn, I do not want this. Yeah. <laughs> you have a little more time to like. Yeah. <laughs> I need. I need time to like. Yeah. I like, think with I online this? shopping, it is hard to record. Like, I still have, like, we were supposed to do a, a skit. Well, we did the horse skit, but we were supposed to get cowboy hats. And the cowboy hats came late. And I still have those cowboy hats because it was hard to, like, it, I wanted to return them, but it was just, like, such a process to, yeah. like, drive to the nearest Coles or UPS or some shit yeah, and then give them that. Yeah. Some shit, yeah. <laughs> I hate that shit. But online shopping, obviously, I think it's getting easier. I just would be interesting to see what. It would be like in the future in terms of like the speed of everything because I don't know. I, it's, it with clothes, it is difficult. Like for anything else, I don't care. With clothes, it is kind of difficult because you don't know how that shit looks. They're getting better at it though. Mm-hmm. They gonna start. I bet you they start doing like the AI models. Some they shit. already was doing that on Snapchat. For oh, they a were. Bit. Yeah, they tried it. Try an AI it's, fit on. Yeah, 
<laughs> it, didn't, it didn't work out as much. It, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm never going to doubt technology, mm. but I would think that. I think it's going to get to the point. I think soon it'll get to a point of like, if I <laughs> hover over some clothes, yeah. at least I get to see the person walk in it. You know yeah, what I mean? But like, I, I hope when they do that shit, they put like a big watermark over it. Like, this is just a triumph because niggas going to start, <laughs> niggas have a whole Louis fit, screenshot the Louis fit, oh, the AI wow, Louis fit, yeah. <laughs> and huh. then take a picture on IG and man, shit. Like, <laughs> with the way this AI shit moving, <laughs> man, there's about to be so many people flexing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, just landing in Dubai. All right, bro. It's five of y'all that say y'all at the same airport. <laughs> y'all ain't see each other? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the extravagant hotel and shit. Like, like what, what the fuck? <laughs> nah, AI is gonna be yeah, AI is gonna be dangerous. Nah, there's gonna be dudes beefing online. Like, y'all wanna come over here, boy. We deep. Yeah. Look closer at the picture. Hey bro, is some AI generated people behind you? <laughs> <laughs> that boy made his own hood. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, now we call ourselves L Block. <laughs> <laughs> they just be saying anything for their block name now. Hell yeah, you gotta be creative. You do. Everybody, like, I feel like a lot of rappers all have, like, initials in front of their names now or, like, letters. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's been a thing for a long time, especially, like, with the game. Remember, like, you see it more on, on games. Yeah, yeah, on games. Like, like gamer tags. People yeah, have yeah. gamer tags. Like clan you know? names and yeah, shit. Yeah, clan names, because yeah. that's how I started. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Clan is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> FaZe Clan. <laughs> I ain't never realized. It's all with a C, though, right? Huh? Did yeah, you yeah. this fellow with a C? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> a group of racist ga uh, gamers? <laughs> Call of Duty chats be the exact same. Yeah, that's what Xbox was back then anyway. Man. <laughs> All right, so Jason Whitlock put out a tweet and said, I'm looking at NFL standings on ESPN.com. This is the ad running above the standings. How is this possible? How is this appropriate, basically? <laughs> The ad was right above him looking up NFL standings for 2023. It said, balls deep inside of me is a great way to spend your birthday. And it was just like that in words above the NFL standings. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't think an ESPN can control, control that, but. There you go. <laughs> so you basically just snitched on itself. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you're not getting an ad that's not. At least been my boy got a targeted ad. You got a targeted ad. <laughs> so were you talking to somebody about it? Was somebody using your computer? Yeah. That ad comes from that computer, <laughs> my just, boy. I don't know how to tell they you. They only that. targeted you because yeah. of certain reasons. That's not on twelve year old Johnny shit. <laughs> it's on your shit. <laughs> I didn't see that. All right. <laughs> Jason Wiglock like is a is an interesting character. Interesting. I feel like anytime people leave ESPN with strong opinions, they complete they completely go like super far right. Or just super like far left, yeah, far left. And that, I mean, it's like, and they, they're, I don't know, it's just weird. I think Jason Woodlock did that. What's the other white dude they used to be on first take? Will something? I don't know. You know the other white dude used to be on first take too. Mm -mm. With with uh, with oh Whitlock, not even Whitlock. Yeah, no, it's not Whitlock. It's um Rob Parker. Not Rob Parker, white dude. White dude. Yeah, so another white dude they used to be on, on. I think his name was Will something. I don't know. You know the comments, but he also went to like like a Fox News correspondent and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with doing Jamel Hill kind of went. Yeah, Jamel Hill kind of went her own way too. Yeah. So it's like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just interesting where they feel like they weren't able to speak their mind at ESPN or like they weren't even talking about politics. And now when they leave ESPN, they talk about like politics and stuff like that. Yeah. So oh, well, the thing I the thing I think what it is is like they've always wanted to do that, whatever they wanted to do. And then they used a platform and finally made enough money and fans mm -hmm. to continue to do that for a living. That's why I think people don't get about like people that speak on issues. Like these people still got to earn their money. Like Dr. Yeah. Umar still has to earn money. Mm -hmm. Like he still has to make money. So is he pushing maybe something that he doesn't a hundred percent believe in at some Will point? Will Kane. It was bothering me. I'm sorry. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember him. Yeah. Hey, we can end it there anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. End with Will Kane. <laughs> oh, no. We should end with the... We'll end with this video right here. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That's how white dudes laugh when they first give you the blunt. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>
That's that shit right there, Patrick. Well, somehow, white people be some white people would be too excited to get you high. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, huh? Like, oh my god, are we gonna smoke right now? <laughs> I'm gonna smoke with fucking Pat Johnson, man. <laughs> Try this, bro. This shit's Try straight this. gas, bro. Straight <laughs> gas. <laughs> like, literally straight from my mom's car. <laughs> How does it taste, buddy? <laughs> so washcloths are for poor people. Yeah. So yeah, I only have one friend use washcloths, and when she would stay with me, she'd say, "Can I have a washcloth?" And I said, "I don't have washcloths. Yeah. There's no washcloth. Use your hand, dummy." I remember the. I really do remember the first time I crashed at a, a poor friend's house, and then he handed over like a towel for after no, the shower, no. and then a bar soap, and then a little one. I go, "What's the little towel?" He goes, "A washcloth." And I go. <laughs> I threw it back at him. I'm like, I'm good. And he was like, uh. washcloth. So, you know, they're, they're, okay, so I want to put into perspective there are, there were some Africans, mm-hmm. black Africans, that at some point in time taught some Europeans how to take baths. Because in some cultures, bathing wasn't like that. You only bathe like once every 10 days or some shit. Mm-hmm. In some European cultures, I just want to put that out there. So they might be from. <laughs> the thing about they're not saying they don't take showers though. But they saying they don't wipe their ass. So. They just say they don't use washcloths. How you don't with their hand though? Why would they? You you put a washcloth up your butt? Man, you gotta wash everything. Bro. Yeah, but, but I don't think you have to use it like it's tissue paper. Now you gotta wash everything, bro. Yeah, you do, but you can still use your hand. I use a little silicone thing, but they, I don't see if. If you have to use a washcloth no, to not like a washcloth, you got to use something though. You can use your hand to what to wash your ass. Yes. All right, we going in the pocket. <laughs> Why can't you use your hand? All right, we done. Here, <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> you're using a washcloth like it's tissue paper though. Nah, it's <laughs> that's crazy. No, you're crazy. I don't want to use. I don't want to use a friend's washcloth. I'm with if, you, if, you thought, if you're shoving it that far up your butt, <laughs> you shouldn't be using a washcloth. You should be having like one of those. Uh, I use a silicone thingy. Exfoliation things. I use a silicone because what they say that one doesn't hold the I germs. Have exfoliation gloves. <laughs> you can rub in this shit like a sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he got right, that carpet ball burn on his balls. <laughs> hey, nah, you exploded in your balls is crazy. Nah. You jumping into the pool and it looking like an oil spill out there. It's crazy. <laughs> nah, they, hey, this they can use a sandpaper to dry his, <laughs> to clean his balls. Nah, after you get out the jacuzzi, it look like beef stew and shit. Hell no. Nah. I told like, you how to use a sponge. It look like beef broth. Like, what nah, the fuck exfoliating out? glove is crazy. Nah. <laughs> Being a shade uh, lighter after you get out the pool is crazy. <laughs> That's not me, though. <laughs> I just episode 135 of Crash Dummies podcast. Peace.